Making it so one object can land on another is a pretty essential skill to be able to make games in Unity. So it's one of those early things you need to figure out. Let me walk you through it. I'm going to go ahead and click on my main character here, my little alien friend, I guess. And what I need to add are two different things. I'm going to add the component, um, rigid body, and make sure you do rigid body 2D because this is a 2D game. And then you're also going to need to add the collision modifier. Now you can do a box collider, you can do a circle collider, or a capsule collider. Whatever you think fits the shape of your character the best. I guess for mine I'll do a capsule collider this time. Okay. First off, now that I have it added, I'm going to click edit and I'm going to just shrink it down to actually fit my character. These are the lines when something smacks into me that my object or my character or my uh, uh, my character would stop at, right? So this is where the impact line is, you could think. And there is some space here, but I am fine with that. That is looking awesome, okay? Now you also want to pay attention to things like gravity and mass. Uh, mass will be impacted when things are bouncing off one another. But for now, let's go right into, here's my platform. I need the same two things here, so I'm going to start with a rigid body 2D, and then I'm going to add a collider as well. This time I'll use the box collider for the land. Okay, now I'm going to have to zoom way out. Obviously my object is huge, so let me go ahead and edit this. I'm going to push this down, because I want the character to be able to be on the grass, but I don't want them to fall beneath it. And maybe something like this and this and let's zoom back in here now if i go ahead and hit play whoa -oh, there goes everything and you can see my background so we either need to put other objects for, to for it to fall into put some code the simplest way though is i'm gonna say hey this y it can't change i'm gonna freeze the y position of my platform of my land same with uh the rotation because i don't want this item to rotate and in fact, I'm going to probably think I don't want my character to rotate either. Let's see what happens now. And boom, one object can land on another. Now, if I want my character to float, right, it looks like they're in a floating vehicle, I can do this. Keep in mind, though, all right, so now I'm going to have some float. But keep in mind that anything that comes into contact right here will act like it's still hitting my character. But, ta-da, we are successful with our collisions.